The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture. I'm here today for an episode of Canola School with Carl DeConnick-Smith and we're going to be talking about onboard storage for chemical handling when out spraying. So welcome Carl, it's great to see you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, so let's talk a little bit first about your farm. What do you do here? What is your farm name? Yeah, so we, um, it's DeConnick Smith Ag Ventures. We farm uh, in West Central Saskatchewan near Darcy. Uh, we farm 13,000 acres and uh, it's yeah, a mixture of uh, cereals, canola and pulses. You have direct injection on this sprayer here. So tell me a little bit about this technology and what it does. Yeah, so what, what this technology does is it allows me to uh, carry a significant amount of product uh, on board so that I can uh, basically reduce having a nurse trailer um, out when I'm spraying. Uh, just, just essentially need water. Um, currently on board here, I can carry up to uh, 800 liters of Roundup. Uh, that I can do uh, one of two things. I can either just uh, directly inject it straight into the line so it doesn't have to be mixed in the tank. Um, I can also pump it directly into the tank uh, as well. So it's, it's, it's very, very flexible. Right, and how does it work? So how it works is there's a little direct injection pump at the back and it's all uh, set uh, from within the cab. So I can vary my rates of Roundup uh, on the go. Um, and essentially it just it just pumps it directly out of those tanks into a mixing chamber uh, at the back. Right, and you were saying you can go for the majority of a day with, with this, Yeah, right? like, well, 800 litres, so if, if you're at a litre an acre of uh, uh, Roundup, so I can do 800 acres, essentially, mm -hmm. with, with what's on board, and so it just depends exactly on your rate that you're using. And how long have you been using it for? Uh, it's about uh, 10 to 12 years we've been using the direct injection. Um, I think it's this is the only sprayer that I know of in the world that has direct injection in combination with uh, spot spray technology. But I know there is um, there's definitely some direct injection systems that have been out there. They're just not real widely used. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think the biggest reason that it hasn't been used is a bit of a I think a trust factor. Um, so it's it's really good if if you're the operator. You, you know exactly what's going out the back. You don't have to, uh, you know, actually punch a certain amount of chemical jugs or put it in the tank. Um, you just have to trust that, uh, you know, either technology or, um, you know, that you, that you actually hit the button right. to, to go on. And you don't even have to use it as direct injection. It's just, it's super efficient to be able just to carry that chemical with you uh, to not have to have uh, an extra person as labor carrying around that chemical during the day, be a one person operation. Right, and what does the return on investment look like on something like that? Uh, it just, more or less, it just saves having that extra person having to run chemical is really what it saves. It's right. not that it saves chemical, it's just that it, uh, it just makes it a lot easier during the day. And it's also safer too, it's just the, the Roundup gets pumped in those tanks, so you're not handling the the chemical, the chemical all itself. day long. It's just, so you're, you're getting that bulk product mm -hmm. um, away from your fills. So your fills are far, far faster because you can fill a small amount of other product while the Roundup's it's already loaded. So you're not ta you're not taking the, that costly time to fill. So what are some of the other benefits that you've seen by using a direct injection system? Yeah, the other real big benefit is uh, switching from crop to crop. Uh, uh, for example, if you're doing um, uh, some burn off and then want to go do some quick, maybe an in-crop cereal, uh, because the Roundup is uh, just being injected, um, you don't have to do a tank rinse. Is that, as long as you just have a broadleaf chemical that's added to your Roundup that's in the tank, you just turn the direct injection off, spray your booms out, and uh, you can go right directly to spraying cereals. To spraying something different? Yeah. Uh, do you find that you use that a fair bit? We, we do, yeah. When we're really switching, when we get into that la latter part of seeding. So we're still maybe doing some burn off, we're uh, maybe starting some chem fallow, but we're starting to integrate into some the early, early spring seeded uh, cereals. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and also through the year too, so we will, uh, 
when we get into the real in crop, we'll start to to, to transfer some of these um, tanks over to um, our broadleaf chemical for cereals. So then we can uh, start running our broadleaf chemical through those direct injection and only put some wild oat chemical in the tank. Now we can go from spraying our cereals to pulses or canola is a lot easier, just, just depending on, on the mix and match of how you want to um, uh, make it the most efficient. Right, and that really drills down too to not having to handle the chemical nearly as often as you would Yeah, otherwise. for sure. It just, uh, yeah, it's just a lot less handling of it, quicker fills, and it definitely can reduce some of those really hard rinse cycles mm -hmm. that, that can really help the efficiency. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And that was Carl DeConnick-Smith on Real Agriculture.